Namaskar, that is Sun Salutation. The city of Pune on the map of India has marked its place distinctly for its cultural, educational and sports activities. Healthy individuals will form a healthy society. To motivate the society towards patriotism and to create better individuals having a healthy body, mind and intellect, sports is the best medium. Sharing this vision, Krida Bharati has set up its office here. Krida Bharati, a Pune-based organization founded in 1992, is bringing together all the individuals having great experience in the field of sports for many years. Through its devoted and skilled volunteers, it is working actively in 19 districts of Maharashtra. The strength of the organization lies in its devoted and skilled volunteers. Through all types of sports players, coaches, organizers and audience, a sports culture should be built. Krida Bharati is working towards this goal. The Surya Namaskar division of Krida Bharati is devotedly spreading awareness about Surya Namaskar, that is, Sun Salutation. Surya Namaskar is a combination of yoga postures. Its roots can be found in the yoga philosophy of the Vedic tradition. Surya Namaskar is practiced in more than 40 types all across India. Rida Bharati has adopted and is promoting a simple and easy 10-step Surya Namaskar method for all classes of the world. The late Shri Bapurao Datye formulated the present Surya Namaskar system under the expert guidance of Pujaniya Shri Guruji and synchronized it by composing a musical tune, Aruni. Surya Namaskar, that is Sun Salutation, can be performed to the accompaniment of this music 13 times. Initially, the tune has a Sanskrit shlok or verse comprising the worship of the Lord Sun, followed by Surya Namaskar devoted to each name of the Sun. The ending shlok or verse explains the benefits of Surya Namaskar. Let's see the sequence of performing Surya Namaskar. The beginning shlok is Dheya Sada Savitru Mandala Madhyavarti Narayana Sarasijasana Sannivishta Keyuravan Makara Kundalavan Kiri Hari Hiranmayava Purdhruta Shankha Chakra There are 10 counts given for each position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let us understand the breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, retain, inhale, 
exhale inhale exhale retain inhale and recite the next mantra observe your breathing carefully during the whole exercise as it inculcates pranayam the stages are purak inhale richak exhale and kumbhak or holding the breath these create a rhythmic breathing due to this 5 to 6 times more oxygen is inhaled in the body the chemical reactions in the body cells and blood circulation improves all other activities become rhythmic the soul's energy is under control so the health is maintained and diseases are cured now let's understand the benefits of surya namaskar the siddha and 10th position the palms and the arms are at right angles which puts pressure on the wrists and palms as we stand erect back problems do not arise confidence increases the muscles of the shoulders and mid arm are strengthened the stomach is pulled inwards and the chest is inflated the body feels lighter and the mind becomes stable and concentrated all the three stages of breathing are easily performed first position as the spinal cord is backwardly stretched it gets strengthened the body is stretched from the frontal side right from the vocal cords to the knees abdominal muscles are stretched keeping the belly circumference in control it helps to increase height deep breathing stimulates the lungs to become more efficient second and ninth position all the back muscles are exercised as the body is bent the pressed stomach puts pressure on the intestine spleen kidney and liver which increases their efficiency increased secretion capacity of the digestive fluids improves digestion the palms are rested flat on the floor keeping the knees straight thus the wrists and spine are exercised and strengthened similarly the strength and efficiency of the calves thighs waist and shoulders are increased the head is bent towards the ground which helps in easy supply of blood to the brain and eyes the contraction and relaxation of muscles improves the flexibility third and eighth position the leg movements in this position exercise the muscles of the pelvis ankles and knees as the knees are folded the bones of the joint become strong similarly the neck waist back and thighs are stretched and become efficient so the problems of back ache and waist and joint pains are removed both the legs are equally exercised in this position fourth position in this position the entire body weight is balanced on the shoulders arms and wrists which strengthens these limbs Similarly the palms and toes become efficient. 5th position. The lower abdomen and chin are held up in this position. The bend in the neck helps free movement of spinal discs. The abdominal muscles are contracted. The efficiency of the kidney, spleen and digestive organs is increased. Similarly the liver uterus and the end of the large intestine is contracted as the muscles are sufficiently contracted and relaxed enlargement of the glands and frequent urination is controlled sixth position this position resembles bhujangasan the body is stretched from the vocal cords to the thighs from the front side this helps the muscles of the chest stomach arms and thighs to be toned and shaped the abdominal fat reduces 
the spinal cord is strengthened. The spinal discs are strengthened and are kept properly arranged. This position also helps to reduce neck, back and waist problems. It also helps to transfer the calcium secreted in the stomach to the spinal cord. Seventh position. In this position, the body weight is spread on the wrists and feet. The body is stretched from the back. So, the waist, calves, thighs, feet and shoulder muscles are exercised and remain efficient. All the athletes are benefited from this position. It also reduces the ache of the heels. This position brings softness to the bones of the heels and strengthens the ankles. Arthritis of the shoulders is cured due to this exercise. The cells of the heart and brain are rejuvenated. Similarly, people having high blood pressure are benefited by this position. Surya Namaskar is a Sanjeevani, that is, life portion to every human being, parents, students, employers, workers, rich and poor, men and women, young and old people. This is the exercise which strengthens the mind and body and it should be done every day by everyone. Performing Surya Namaskar is a tradition in India. Great personalities had mastered it. Samartha Ramdas Swami, Swami Vivekanand, Lokmanya Tilak and yogis from India have performed a thousand Surya Namaskars every day. Even today, there are such individuals who perform this Upasana that is daily ritual. Bhaut Zonglekar a live example of Surya Namaskar benefits has been practicing this exercise regularly for 71 years which has kept him active in propagating the Surya Namaskar movement. Hindu Swayam Sevak Sangh is the organization which is promoting Hindu culture including Surya Namaskar for the benefit of the entire human race all over the world. In its weekly activities, it conducts the Surya Namaskar to inculcate the yoga practice in the daily lives of thousands of people across the world to make their life healthier. Let us utilize the benefits of Surya Namaskar for ourselves. Let's not put ourselves in the state of a Kasturi Murug which runs all over in search of the fragrance which lies in its own body. Krida Bharati has proclaimed one more concept that is observing Ratha Saptami as the global Surya Namaskar day. Generally, Ratha Saptami falls around 2 to 3 weeks after the 14th of January that is Makar Sankranti festival. Krida Bharati appeals to all people in the world to perform Surya Namaskar on this day at sunrise. Let's all pledge to come together to perform Surya Namaskar to the musical notes of Aruni every year on Ratha Saptami. Come, let us worship the sun, the energy source for the human race on Mother Earth. Adityasya Namaskaran Ye Kuruvanti Dine Dine Ayuh Pradnyabalam Viryam Tejas 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 Tejas